www.jacksoncountycommissioners.gov. And now, your Jackson County Commissioners, Dave Dodderer, Rick Dyer, and Colleen Roberts, working for you. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's 9.30, so we're gonna call the Board of Commissioners regular meeting for May 1st, excuse me, 2024 to order. We're live here in the Courthouse Auditorium and on audio video conference via Zoom. We'll start today's meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. If you please stand. special presentation today for our employee of the month and that's Charles Bennett from Development Services Department come on up Charles and Ted I don't know if you want to come up with him the more we can embarrass him with the better so bring him up We know better. Charles does not get flustered. We've seen him in action in here many, many times, so this this is nothing for you. <laughs> so our employee of the month for May 2024 is Charles Bennett from Development Services Department. Presented this May 1st, 2024. Charles Bennett attended Southern Oregon State University and upon graduating had the opportunity to learn to intern in the Development Services Department. He then began his career with Jackson County in 2004 as an extra help planning technician. Later that year, he was hired as a full-time employee as a Planner One. In 2007, Charles transitioned to Planner Two and in 2016, he moved into his current position as a Planner Three. Charles has been an invaluable member of this team and consistently demonstrates a strong commitment to professionalism and dedication to his work. His contributions have significantly enhanced the efficiency and effectiveness of the department's operations. Charles possesses, possesses an exceptional work ethic and consistently goes above and beyond. I'll let you get that. I hate when people do that. It's not your fault. Not your fault. Yeah. It's, it's 500 around here. Anyway, sorry, we'll get back to where we were. Charles possesses an exceptional work ethic, consistently goes above and beyond to ensure the success of his projects. His attention to detail, analytical skills, and innovative thinking have helped him navigate complex planning issues and find creative solutions to challenges, and I will definitely second that. In addition, Charles is respected by his colleagues for his collaborative approach and willingness to assist others with a calm demeanor. He promotes a supportive and inclusive work environment, contributing to a strong sense of teamwork within the department. Charles has enhanced the department by working with related planning committees, such as the Rogue Valley Metropolitan Planning Organization, the 2024 Farm and Forest Conservation Program Improvements Rulemaking Advisory Committee, and the Jackson County Active Transportation Advisory Committee, which we made that one longer too, so it fit with those other ones, which hosts the Jackson County Ride with the Leaders event. Thank you. And he picks up my pen when I drop it too. Charles, on behalf of the Jackson County Board of Commissioners, congratulations on being selected as the May Employee of the Month, and thank you for your outstanding dedication to the citizens of Jackson County. Well, Charles, I too want to say thank you for all you do for Jackson County and um, to be Employee of the Month in our county is a big deal. There's a lot of employees and especially in your, your department, uh, it's a, quite a standout. So uh, congratulations and thank you and I think it can be attested by all your colleagues here in the room today and, um, and I think your family's here as well. So congratulations and thank you for, for your work and I think it, uh, development services is probably one of the biggest departments our board interacts with regularly and all the committees that we've given nice longer names to <laughs> as well so um, you work long and it doesn't end at five does it <laughs> those committees go on and on and ride with the leaders is coming out right up in May so that's a, a big deal too so anyway thank you so much 
And I want to, to say also thank you because I don't know if you remember this, but as a brand new commissioner, you headed up the first advisory committee meeting I ever went to, which of course was all brand new to me. I didn't know what to expect and everything like that. It was the bicycle committee on Zoom of all things. And I remember thinking, you know, this guy really has got his ducks lined up here. This guy's really keeping this thing moving along. That's not an easy committee to keep moving along. You did a great job. And then I've watched you through all this over the last several years do exactly the same thing for obviously more important things. But congratulations and thank you for all you're doing. Yeah. Uh, as you heard, Charles does uh, really intense work. Planning works with the uh, board of commissioners. Is the guy that gets to take first look at things like legislative changes and how what our land development ordinance looks like now and how it should change and go through conversations with the council. It's really a pretty intensive job that he has and he does it well. So I'd like to tell you some things that you may or may not know about Charles. Uh, <laughs> 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 he's uh, all of us that know him, he's on the he's on the what was the bike committee and active transportation committee. Now uh, he also likes to ride uh, adventure bikes, so he does the off-road and well, on-road uh, biking. He loves to play with chainsaws. He has a uh, his his property is probably the best fuel reduction uh, wildfire fuel reduction and property in the entire county. There's not. <laughs> There's not a brush that is going to stand a chance on Charles' property. And the other thing is, uh, he gets together with his friends and uh, they do what's called a Bro Olympics, B R O. Uh, <clears throat> and they take some of the most intensive sports that you have in the Olympics, like shuffleboard and playing pool, <laughs> and they compete against each other. Uh, so, just so you all know that one of our own in our department is a Brolympian. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just say, I want to say I'm, I'm proud to work for Jackson County. This has been my career 20 years and it's a great place. I appreciate uh, the amazing department development services that we have. We have a great team and we do care about what comes out of our office and what we do, and I just want to say thank you for that and appreciate uh, this this home that I away from home. So thank you. May 2024 Employee of the Month presented to Charles Bennett with our gratitude for your outstanding performance and dedicated service to Jackson County and signed by the Thank you very much. Good I have to follow orders from you. <laughs> Get out. It looks like we're cleared out here, so we'll move on into our request for and discussion of non-agenda items. We do have a five-minute limit pursuant to the codified ordinance of Jackson County, Section 213.06. Members of the public may address any item not on the agenda. However, pursuant to RS 192.640, the Board of Commissioners is prohibited from discussing a principal subject that is not on the agenda. Therefore, the Board of Commissioners will listen to your concerns and may consider the matter you raise by asking staff to follow up on any questions or by placing the matter on the agenda for discussion at a future meeting. 
We don't have anybody signed up, but is there anybody here in the auditorium that would like to speak today? No one? Anyone on Zoom with their Zoom hand raised? Mr. Chair, no one has their Zoom hand raised. All right, thank you. Then we'll move on into the consent calendar, which today consists of the minutes of meetings of the Board of Commissioners work session for April 9th, 2024. Board of Commissioners regular meeting for April 10th, 2024. Board of Commissioners staff meeting for April 11th, 2024. And an order proclaiming May 2024 as National Wildfire Awareness Month. This is order number 83-24 and an order proclaiming May 2nd, 2024 as National Day of Prayer. And that's order number 84-24. I will move approval of the consent calendar. I'll, I'll second that. And as we like to do when we have... To you. I'm sorry, let's take a vote. <laughs> uh, Commissioner Daughter? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. And as we like to do after the vote, as I was saying... <laughs> I uh, would like to read the proclamations we have today. First of all, in the matter of proclaiming May 2024 as National Wildfire Awareness Month, whereas National Wildfire Awareness Month held each May is an effort to encourage, empower, and inform individuals to help prevent and prepare for wildfire by covering topics such as defensible space, home hardening, fire resistant and flammable plants, Fire USA communities, community wildfire protection plans, and overall emergency preparedness. And whereas a major wildfire could cause devastating loss of life, property, and damage to the environment, and whereas the continuing growth of communities into the wildland urban interface and into the continuous poor land and the continuous poor land management policies and practice on our public federal lands has elevated the need for wildfire prevention and preparedness at both the community and individual homeowner levels. Whereas it is important that the individual communities also take steps to become better fire adapted, such as becoming part of a FireWise USA community and participating in community wildfire protection plans focused on reducing and managing risk. And whereas local, state, and federal agencies across, or excuse me, agencies of Oregon in partnership with fire prevention organizations in the state are working together to increase awareness of wildfires and educate Oregonians on fire protection, prevention, on missing these. Uh, and whereas Jackson County is committed to bringing together community and government leaders to participate in wildfire preparedness, planning, mitigation, response, and recovery. And whereas resources are available to citizens to help ensure preparedness, including online tools such as www.jackscountyor.gov slash emergency underscore management. And where it is vital that all community members take life-saving steps to prepare stay prepared, including making their homes more fire resistant, creating defensible space, and developing a wildfire action plan well ahead of time. Now, therefore, the Board of County Commissioners of Jackson County hereby proclaims May 2024 as National Fire Wildfire Awareness Month and urges the residents of Jackson County to prepare in order to protect everyone you love. It is, is a responsibility of each resident to create defensible space, harden their home, sign up for emergency alerts, and encourage others to do the same. Dated this first day of May, 2024, at Medford, Oregon. And we have one more here. And that is, in the matter of proclaiming May 2nd, 2024, as National Day of Prayer. Whereas the 73rd observance of the National Day of Prayer will be held on March 2nd, excuse me, May 2nd, 2024, with the theme, Lift Up the World, Light Up the World, based on 2 Samuel 22, 29-31. And whereas a National Day of Prayer has been part of our national heritage since it was declared by the First Continental Congress in 1775, and the United States Congress in 1952 approved as a joint resolution that the president shall set aside and proclaim suitable day each year other than Sunday as a national day of prayer on which the people of the United States may turn to God in prayer and meditation in churches, in groups, and in, as individuals. And whereas the United States Congress in 1988 by Public Law 100-307 is amended, establishes an act to provide for setting aside the first Thursday in May as a date on which the national day of prayer is celebrated, and whereas leaders and citizens of our communities, cities, states, and nation are afforded the privilege of prayer 
with the joy of seeking divine guidance, strength, protection, and comfort from Almighty God. And whereas recognizing the love of God, we, the citizens of, uh, citizens of Jackson County, treasure the freedom to gather here, gather in prayer, exercising reliance on God's power in the face of present challenges and threats, and asking for his blessing on every individual in our, of our country. Now, therefore, the Board of County Commissioners of Jackson County proclaims May 2nd, 2024 as National Day of Prayer throughout Jackson County and commend this observance to all of our citizens. All right. Thank you. We will move on now. We have no public hearings today. Move into our first item on discussion and deliberation, which is an order authorizing a Jackson County Services contract with Greenway Spray LLC. And this is order number 85-24. Mr. Jordan. Uh, Mr. Chair, members of our board, our airport department did solicit competitive quotes for weed spraying, weed control, and pest control at the Rogue Valley and National Medford Airport grounds. Greenway Spray LLC submitted the only quote. They're qualified to perform the work and should be awarded the contract. The term of the contract is May 1st of 2024 through April 30th of 2027. It's a financial impact of $146,175, and I do recommend your approval. Thank you. And I'll move to approve order number 85-24. Second. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dodder? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. Moving on, next item is an order closing all county-owned off-trail areas of the Bear Creek Greenway for the safety of the public during the 2024 fire season, as declared by the Oregon Department of Forestry. And this is order <coughs> number 86-24. Mr. Chair, during the uh, 2024 fire season, dry brush and abundant, uh, abundant fuel source will create dangerous conditions for the rapid spread of wildfire on the natural off-trail areas of the Bear Creek Greenway public use of the natural off-trail areas of the Greenway during the 2024 fire season would significantly increase the risk of wildfire ignition and spread. Fuel sources will be removed from the area, area immediately surrounding the paved path during the 24 wildfire season, making the path safe for continued use. Jackson County Board of Commissioners acting as the Greenway Authority under subsection 1228.05 sub B of the codified ordinances of Jackson County has the ability to close sections of the Greenway if its facilities are considered dangerous, unsafe, pose a, an unhealthful condition, or for the protection of the watershed. Jackson County has exercised this authority for fire protection purposes in 2021, 2022, and 2023. Certain natural off-trail areas of the Greenway that were affected by the Almeda fire were closed to the public use until further notice by Board Order 194-20 on December 8th of 2020. This closure will remain in effect and is not intended to be affected by this Board Order. The paved path portion of the Greenway will remain open and available for use by the citizens of Jackson County, and I do recommend your approval. I will move approval of Order Number 86-24. I'll second that. Commissioner Dodder? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. Thank you. Moving on, our next item is in order adopting immunity from liability for the use of trails or structures in public easements or unimproved rights of way pursuant to Oregon Revised Statute ORS 105.668 as, amend as amended by Oregon Senate Bill SB 1576 of 2024. And this is order number 87-24. Mr. Jordan? Yeah, Mr. Chair, as you referenced, the Oregon Legislature did an accident Bill 1576 in the 2024 legislative session, and that did amend ORS 105-668 to provide immunity from liability to all local governments for the use of trails and associated structures in public e easements and unimproved rights of way. Uh, prior to the amendment, ORS 105-668 provided immunity only to cities with a population of greater than 500,000. Senate Bill 1576 amended ORS 105-688 to extend that immunity to all local governments that elect to opt in. Jackson County does desire to opt in to the immunity provided by ORS 105-668. If approved, the opt-in immunity under this order is effective upon execution and will be so through January 2nd of 2026, and I do recommend your approval. I will move to approve order number 87-24. Second. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dodder? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. Thank you. Last item on our agenda today is an order authorizing 
and owner's acceptance of bidder's proposal for contract number 02.24SC with LTM Incorporated doing business as Knife River of Materials. This is order number 88-24. Mr. Chair, members of the board, uh, an invitation to bid was published in the March 6th, 2024 edition of the Rogue River Press, the March 6th and March 8th, 2024 editions of the Daily Journal of Commerce. It was also posted to the Jackson County website on March 6, 2024, and this was to supply hot mixed uh, asphalt concrete or HMAC to Jackson County for use on road projects during calendar year 2024. We received one bid, and it was LTM Incorporated doing business as Knife River Materials. They bid $938,000. LTM River Incorporate or LTM Incorporated doing business as Knife River Materials did submit the only bid. However, Jackson County would still reserve the right to purchase uh, hot mix asphalt concrete um, from other suppliers at the market price when the location of the suppliers a hot mix asphalt concrete plant is in a shorter distance to the job site and when it's in the best interest of Jackson County to do so. The majority of these materials will be used in fiscal year 24-25. A standard purchase order will be used to purchase these supplies as needed for the period of May 1st, 2024 through November 1st of 2024. It's an expense not to exceed 938000 and I do recommend your approval. And I will move approval of order number 88-24. I will second. Commissioner Dodder? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. Thank you. And that does conclude our business today, so this meeting is adjourned. We hope that you have enjoyed this week's Jackson County Board of Commissioners meeting. If you have any questions on any part of the show, please feel free to contact your Jackson County commissioners or staff. You can find their contact information at jacksoncountyor.gov. To review the content of this or any other recent meeting, under the Government tab, under Recorded Meetings, click on RVTV Live Streaming.